<clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Oils and early morning study. Love it. I love this opportunity. I love this opportunity to start out every day with this dedication, remembering what it is that, remembering what it is that is important, doing the gratitudes and then doing the study. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> and I don't know about you or I don't know about anybody listening or the interesting thing that keeps crossing my mind is that I'm not, I'm not doing this for somebody else. This is what I do for me. This is the time that, this is the time that I take for myself. This is the time that, that gets me into the right frame of mind, that gets me remembering what it is that I need most, that I want most, that, that's remembering what's most important to me. And <clears throat> it's not every day that there's this huge aha, there's not every day, every morning that I have this like, huge awareness um, there's been a lot of days so it's been a lot of days the last in the last I guess what two two weeks a little better than two weeks there's been a lot of days that it's been so profound for me it just seems like it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and Just a reminder that where he says here on page 25 that you have to get it. You have to get it. And, and that this, this isn't something that that you can get by simply reading, by simply listening by simply just coming and sitting in the chair here every day and, and doing the study. And, you know, this morning as I, was, I got up and was coming downstairs to the office area, which I don't normally do my study in my office. I do it um, here upstairs. <laughs> And yeah, with Ben not getting up and, and sleeping or, you know, having going through what he's going through right now and for the purpose of, of doing this 21 days of mindful mornings post retreat, it was most appropriate for our situation to come to my office. And so as I'm playing downstairs and coming down here and think, and I'm thinking, you know, like, why do I do this? Why am I doing this? Why, why am I doing this? And I, I just love the realization that this is, I do this for me. This is the time that I dedicate to myself to, um, just to get into that right frame of mind and normally I don't um, listen to my messages or turn my phone you know well I have to um, turn my phone off because now that it's winter time and it's dark out um, it I you know it'd be just as easy to not get out quite so early and so I do have the the um, 
alarm or the, I don't know, I don't like calling it an alarm because I don't think it's alarming. But I do have to set my um, reminders to get up and at, because it has to be at a very specific time that I'm doing this now. And for some reason this morning, I just, I opened my phone up and there's like three messages that were sitting right there on the screen that were not good news messages. And so I'm thinking, oh, this is why I do this first thing. This is why I do this first thing so that I'm in the right frame of mind rather than just waking up and, you know, there's not so good messages come to have that frame of mind reminded and reminded and reminded of, you know, this is, this is why I do this. I do this for me. I do this to how that I can have my time and my quiet time, my study time, my, um, my own personal study dedication and you know this whole fact that attitude is a gift it's one that i give to myself and it's one that i give to everybody around me if i don't take this time then the way that i respond um, could be different than if than if i did take this time and so <clears throat> this is something I do for myself. This is something I do for my family. This is something I do for those that I'm in association with. This is something I do in relationship to my goals. And it is a gift. It is a gift. It's a precious, precious gift. And you, you can't put a price tag on it. So on um, the next page, on page 26, what is a positive attitude? The simple definition is the way you dedicate yourself to the way you think. Oh, I love this. The simple definition is the way that I dedicate myself to the way that I think. Interestingly, it's also a definition of a negative attitude. Uh -huh. The more complex definition of how you choose to dedicate yourself to the way that you think how you choose to dedicate yourself to be positive how you choose to dedicate yourself to match to reaching in a positive way and your choice must be consistent so i love this the simple definition is the way i dedicate myself to the way that i think how I choose to dedicate myself to the way I think. Huh. So the way I think is a choice. The way I choose to dedicate myself to the way I think, how I choose to dedicate myself to being positive and how I choose to dedicate myself to reaching, reacting in a positive way or responding in a positive way. And my choice must be consistent. My choice must be consistent. I love the simplicity of this. The way I choose to dedicate myself to the way I think. I love this. the way I choose to dedicate myself to the way I think. It's how I choose to dedicate myself to being positive. It's how I choose to dedicate myself to reacting in a positive way. And my choice must be consistent. Huh. How often have, you know, <clears throat> even this morning in opening up my phone and seeing those messages there that weren't, weren't so pleasant,
you know, it's only my perception that made it one way or the other, that made it seem either positive or negative, if we're using that, um, if I'm using that comparison or not so good or so good. <laughs> um, what if it wasn't? What if it was good? Like, why am I putting that perception on it that maybe it wasn't such a good thing? Maybe it's the best thing. I don't know. Um, and so it's only my perception. And so then, then this part comes into it. It's how I choose to dedicate myself to the way I think. It's how I choose to dedicate myself to being positive. It's how I choose to dedicate myself to responding in a positive way. So, so that, that, that puts a whole new light on it. Like whether it was, you know, maybe a not so good, yeah, timing is perfect. Timing is perfect. And so this, uh, so I, I chose to put the spin on it that they were not so positive uh, messages that I looked at first thing as I was just, you know, and now I can put a completely different perspective on it because it's up to me, I choose. I choose to dedicate myself to the way that I think. I choose to dedicate myself to being positive. Oh, this is so interesting. So this just being able to take this moment to pause and reflect and to reformulate and to refocus. And it's how I choose to dedicate myself to responding in a positive way. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Oh, it's so liberating. It is so freeing that just this, <clears throat> and I, I ah, just, you know, how about if I just could dedicate myself to observing without judgment? Man, this is a constant, continual, ongoing opportunity in life. And today's going to be another one of those times when I just have so much opportunity to, to practice it, to implement, to... Um, to, to stay on that higher plane of thought. So beautiful. Thank you so much again for whoever has joined me this morning or for whoever's watching this on replay. It's such a, such a wonderful opportunity and privilege to be able to dedicate myself, dedicate our time to this thinking positively. Thank you so much for showing up and for, um, being in this dedication. <laughs> Bye for now. You have an amazing day.